awful and I couldn't imagine yeah. doing that now with these triple digit temperatures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At this time of year too. Yeah. I mean, it's just rough. You said it exactly with the triple digit temperatures and as a matter of fact, we hit our second triple digit day at Tyler Pounds Airport today. So okay. we got to 100 degrees. It was again for about five minutes, kind of like it was on July 1st. But I would say we've been pretty fortunate with the uh, lack of heat and humidity. It's been hot, but it hasn't been as bad as let's say last year or the year before that. And it's a warm night across East Texas. But folks, there's no rain in your forecast over the next seven days. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see a drop. And as we take a look outside, I mean, you can see it right there. We've got mostly clear skies, no fog or anything like that tonight, but we did get to 100 degrees at Tyler. That's after a morning low of 73, very close to normal at this time of the year, but we were nowhere near the record of 105 set back in 2011. And we've kind of uh, flipped the script a little bit. We had seen 15 consecutive days of below normal high temperatures, but the last six have been above normal high temperatures or right at it. We got to 98 yesterday. We were at 100 degrees today. Temperatures right now are in the 80s. It's 85 at Tyler, 86 in Longview, 83 in Henderson. So it's one of those nights where the dew points, they're going to rise just a little bit. They'll be in the low to middle 70s most of the night, kind of like where they are right now. Plenty of Gulf moisture. It happens in East Texas. It's not West Texas, unfortunately, with the lack of humidity in the summertime, but we'll take what we can get. Heat index values are in the 90s, but they will rise uh, between 105 and 110 degrees at the peak tomorrow afternoon and evening. But all East Texas counties are under that heat advisory, and this will go through 8 o'clock tomorrow evening evening. So drink plenty of water. You know the drill. Frequent breaks. If you can find shade, use it. Ridge of high pressures out to the west. That's kicking up some rain over the Rockies, but it's squashing any rain chance that we may have here in East Texas, and that's just going to be the case. But as we look to the northwest, there's your front. That continues to slide to the south and southeast. That might prevent us from getting to 100 on Friday and the weekend. So a little bit of a cool down, but not much of one. 75 tonight, mostly clear skies. And then as we look at tomorrow, we get back into the triple digits. I do think a larger portion of our viewing area will be in the triple digits tomorrow. We'll be at 98 Friday, 97 on Saturday. Sunday we get to 95, 97 Monday, and then upper 90s expected for Tuesday and Wednesday. Deep East Texas, we did not see that 100 degree mark today for Lufkin, Nacogdoches, nor Crockett. We've got another chance at it tomorrow. Front moves through on Friday, and that keeps our temperatures in the mid to upper 90s through the middle part of next week. Casey, Isaac. Phew.